Good day. So let's have another discussion for a miscellaneous topic here in Steel Design. So this is the uh, design of a uh, beam uh, bearing plates. When the ends of beams are supported by direct bearing on concrete or other masonry construction, it is frequently necessary to distribute the beam reactions over the masonry by means of uh, the bearing plates. So the reaction is assumed to be spread uniformly through the bearing plate to the masonry and the masonry is assumed to push up against the plate with a uniform pressure equal to the reaction R sub U for LRFD and RA for the ASD over the area of the plate A sub uh, 1. So this will be the uh, required area of the uh, beam uh, bearing plate on uh, the A sub 1. Okay, this pressure tends to curl up the uh, to curl up the plate and the bottom flange of the beam. So the AISC manual recommends that the bearing plate to be considered to take the entire bending moment uh, produced and that the critical section for moment be assumed to be at a distance k. Okay, at a distance k. Okay, from the center line of uh, the beam. So the distance k is the same as the distance from the outer face of the flange to the web to of the uh, fillet. So usually uh, the value of k is given in uh, our uh, database. So if, uh, if you are to uh, refer that to figure 10.19, so this is again uh, the distance uh, k. Okay, so later on if you are to compute for the required uh, thickness of our uh, bearing plate, I will be needing uh, the value of this uh, n. So how do we compute for the uh, value of n based on our uh, figure? So the value of n is equal to, that is, uh, we have the b over 2 minus uh, the value of uh, k. So that's how we uh, solve for uh, that value of uh, n. So how do we compute for the uh, required area of the uh, bearing plate? So that is area 1. So area 1 is equal to the R sub U divided by a P sub C of 0.85 of FC prime with the P sub C equal to 0 0.65 for, again this is for the L, R, F, a, D and A or A1 is equal to, I we have omega sub C of R sub A all over 0 0.85 of FC prime and omega sub C is equal to 2.31. That is for I the AS, I ASD. Okay, for the uh, computation of the required uh, thickness of our uh, bearing plate, a reduction factor for LRFD is 0 0.9 and for ASD, the factor of safety is uh, 1.65. So we'll be using this equation for LRFD for the required uh, thickness. So again, that will be, uh, uh, in this equation, we'll be needing the value of uh, N. Which is, again, how do we compute for the uh, value of n? This is from our uh, previous uh, figure. So n is equal to, uh, that is the width of uh, the plate, b, uh, divided by 2, then minus uh, the value of uh, k. Then the same with the ASD, I uh, will be needing the value of uh, n. And again, we can compute for the required thickness using this equation. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, how to design uh, the dimension of a bearing of a beam a bearing plate. Alright, so let's have our example. A W18 by 71 beam has one of its ends supported by a, a reinforced concrete wall with FC prime equal to uh, 20.7 megapascals. Design a bearing plate with Fy equal to 248 megapascal for a uh, for the service loads. So reaction. This is a uh, support reaction of uh, 133.50 kilonewtons for the dead load, and we have 232.40 kilonewtons for the uh, live load. So the maximum length of n bearing perpendicular uh, perpendicular to the wall is. Uh, the full wall thickness of uh, 20 uh, millimeters. So we have uh, the bearing length for our for the end uh, for the end of this uh, beam is 200 uh, millimeters. And according to the problem, that is the same as the wall uh, thickness. And these are the 
uh, support reactions. So from our uh, database, W18 by 71 has a K value of uh, 30.7 uh, uh, millimeters. So let's have the ultimate value of our uh, support reaction. Okay, so using the uh, load combination, uh, let's say this is R sub U is equal to okay, the 1.2 of the uh, reaction for the dead load plus okay, 1.6 of the R sub L. So the reaction for the uh, live load. Okay, so we have the value of the R sub U is equal to 1.2 of okay, 133.2. So, 133.50 uh, uh, kilonewtons plus 222.40 uh, kilo uh, newtons. Oh, this is to be multiplied by uh, 1.6. Point, uh, 1. Okay, so, let us uh, compute for the uh, value of the R sub U. Okay, we have that as uh, 1.2 of 133.5. Okay, plus 1.6 of uh, 222.4. Okay, so we have it as 516. This is 516.04. Uh, okay, 516.04 uh, kilo uh, newtons. So what's next is okay, we can now compute for the required area of our uh, base plate. So again, the dimension of our uh, base plate is a B, but for this example, since okay, the thickness of the wall is uh, limited to uh, 200 millimeters, and at the same time, it is our uh, bearing length, 200 mm, okay, that will be the same as the value of our uh, C. So the, okay, the value of C is the same as uh, the bearing length, uh, which is equal to the wall thickness, a okay, 200 uh, millimeters. So let us uh, compute for the uh, required area 1. So we'll be just uh, doing LRFD. So area 1 is equal to RU okay, all over. Okay, we have P sub C 0.85 of FC prime. Okay, so we have now uh, the value of uh, RU. So computing for uh, the value of area 1. So area 1 is equal to RU okay, divided by, we have P sub C the, uh, multiplied by 0 0.85 of the value of FC prime. So we have, uh, we are now to uh, substitute. So we have R sub U is equal to 516.04 kilonewtons. Okay, multiplying okay, 1000 to be in uh, newtons divided by okay, P sub C for compression is 0 0.65. Then multiplied by 0 0.85 and our FC prime okay, for this uh, problem is given as a uh, 20.7. Okay, 20.7 mega uh, pascals. Or this is the same as the newtons per square mm. So basically since we are computing for the area, this is uh, in terms of the square uh, millimeters. So let us compute for this uh, value. 516.04, so multiplied by 1,000 to be in kilonewtons, divided by our reduction factor for compression is 0 0.65, multiplied by 0 0.85, okay, then our FC prime is given as 20.7. So the required area is equal to 45,121.21. We have 45,121.21. A square a millimeters. So that is our area 1. So again for our area 1, I are limited L sub B or the dimension C is the same as our L sub B equal to 200 mm. We can now compute for the value of uh, the width, okay, the, the value of the width B. Okay, so basically what is the equivalent of our uh, area 1? So area 1 or the area of the beam bearing plate is basically okay, the B times a C. But for this example, it is okay, the B okay, multiplied by okay, the length of or the bearing length okay, for the ends of the uh, beam. Okay, so we have okay, the computed value of area 1 is 45,121. Again, this is okay, area 1 is equal to okay, B times a C or the value of B multiplied by the bearing length. 
So this is equal to ay 45,121.21 is equal to ay we have the width B. Our bearing length is uh, limited to 200 uh, millimeters. So what will be the ideal uh, width B? So 45,121.21 to be divided by uh, the thickness of the wall, 200 mm. So this is uh, 225.606 millimeters. So this will be just our, our reference value. This is the minimum uh, value. A minimum a uh, width, so maybe. I so we can. I if that is the uh, minimum width, I we can uh, use a higher a uh, value or a longer a uh, value of a uh, b. So we can use uh, the value of b. Let's say uh, I the nearest whole number. Let's say we can have it as two hundred thirty mm. I just for this example. Okay, I'll be using uh, the value of B as 250 mm. Okay. So I'll be just uh, using this uh, value, 250 mm, just to increase okay, our factor of uh, safety. So we'll be using our actual area 1. So I'll be using uh, the value of B is equal to 250 mm since our minimum value is 225 mm. So for the value of actual, okay, actual area 1, okay, we have area 1 is equal to okay, the B times okay, the bearing length. Okay, so I'll be using again for this example just to increase our factor of safety. I'll be using 250 mm and the thickness of the wall, okay, the, li uh, the limited length or the bearing length is I 200 mm so our area 1 is now equal to I have 250 millimeters multiplied by 200 mm so our area 1 is equal to uh, this is equal to 50,000 millimeters a uh, square millimeters which is uh, greater than the required area which is equal to 45,121.21 point, uh, square mm Okay, so this will be our uh, design value or the design uh, area 1. So now, okay, let us uh, compute for the uh, thickness. So what will be the thickness of uh, the plate? Okay, so for the thickness of the plate, so we'll be using this equation for LRFD. Okay, so that is... Uh, I will be needing the value of uh, I will be needing the value of the n. So again, how do we compute for n? So as you can see, okay, uh, based on our uh, figure, how do we compute for the value of n? I right, so computing for uh, the value of n is equal to okay, the value of n is equal to okay, the base width of our uh, be beam bearing plate divided by two minus the uh, value of uh, k. So again, what is the value of k for W18 by 71? It is 30.7 uh, millimeters. And our uh, base plate width, again, so uh, we decided that, all right, but for this example, I'll be using uh, the, beam, uh, the beam bearing plate width will be equal to uh, 250 mm. And the value of our C, or is the uh, bearing length, is equal to 200 uh, millimeters. So if you are to compute for the value of N, okay, the value of N is equal to 250 mm divided by 2 minus okay, 30.7. Okay, the value of K of W18, point, uh, W18 by uh, 71. So what will be the value of uh, N? So this is equal to? This is uh, 250 divided by 2 okay, minus uh, the 30.7. So this is equal to, okay, this is equal to 94.3 uh, millimeters. Okay, since okay, our method is LRFD, I okay, will be using this equation for the computation of the uh, thickness. 
So, for the uh, required uh, thickness, okay, that is equal to, okay, we have the square root of uh, 2 times the R sub u, okay, multiplied by the n squared to be divided by our reduction factor. Okay, we have P sub b, okay, multiplied by area 1, then multiplied by dfy. So, we are now uh, ready to uh, substitute. So, this is the uh, required uh, thickness. Okay, this is equal to the square root of, okay, this is twice. Again, what is the value of our ultimate uh, reaction? Okay, this is equal to 516.04 kilo uh, newtons. So, this is uh, 2 times okay, 516.04 kilo newtons. So, we'll be multiplying okay, 1,000 uh, newtons for the value to be in okay, newtons. Then, the value of N is equal to 94.3 mm. Then it is a uh, squared. Then divided by our P sub B, our reduction factor for LRFD is 0 0.90. Okay, then to be multiplied by okay, our actual area 1. So, our actual area 1 is okay, 50,000 square uh, millimeters. Then, multiplied by our FY, our FY is equal to 248 mega uh, pascals. So, it's 248 uh, mega pascals or the newtons per square uh, mm. So, if you are to do a unit analysis, so basically, since we are uh, solving for uh, the thickness, okay, uh, this thickness is in terms of okay, the millimeters. So, what will be the value of the uh, required uh, thickness? Okay, so, this is the square root of uh, 2 times. Our R sub u is 516.04. Okay, to be multiplied by 1,000 uh, newtons. Okay, the value of N is equal to uh, 94.3 millimeters. And this is squared to be divided by 0.90. multiplied by 50,000 square millimeters. Then our FY is 248 mega pascals. So okay, we have the required thickness is equal to 28.677 millimeters. But for I assume uh, for an easier uh, layout, so let's have it for an exact value. Uh, let's say we'll be using a thickness of uh, 30 mm. Then for our uh, final design for this uh, plate, all right. So the design of the uh, plate will be so a plate with a thickness of uh, 30 mm. Then by okay, the width B is equal to 250 millimeters. Okay, the width, uh, with a a length L sub B or the value of C is equal to 200 mm. So this will be our uh, design uh, our design or uh, for the uh, required uh, beam plate uh, for this example so we'll be using a uh, 30 mm okay 30 mm thick uh, 250 m uh, millimeters uh, wide okay, with a length uh, c of 200 uh, millimeters okay so this will be our uh, solution okay, for this example